Let me take you down to the south south part of Nigeria with this meal called Ononu and fresh fish tomato sauce. It is mostly enjoyed by the Kalabari, the Ijaws, and the Okrika people. But I feel everyone in Nigeria should have this meal on their menu because it is too yummy to be enjoyed by just one part of the country alone. So I want you guys to watch this video till the end. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tolani and I am Diary of a Kitchen Lover. These are the major ingredients you'll be needing for your Ononu and fresh tomato sauce. Although I'll be introducing some more ingredients in the course of this video. You'll be needing some yam cut into small pieces like this. You would also be needing some very ripe plantain, like really, really ripe plantain. You will need some palm oil also to prepare the Ononu. Then you'll be needing some fresh tomato blended you can add a little pepper to it but emphasis on tomato then some tomato paste also then some crayfish we need some onions i cut my onions into small pieces like this because i don't really like to see onions in my food you will be needing some seasoning and some fresh fish i think this is tilapia fish but if you think otherwise please let me know the real fish name of the fish in the comment section because i'm so bad at identifying fishes i just knew i wanted fresh fish so let's get cooking guys first off you need to boil the yam so you're going to transfer the yam into the cooking pot and add some water to it and allow it to boil halfway while the yam is boiling we're going to marinate the fish so you're going to transfer the fresh fish make sure your fish is properly washed transfer the fresh fish into a bowl add some salt to it you can also add some pepper and you're just going to mix this together and make sure that all the ingredients all the spices are well distributed in the fish and set it aside so the yam has been boiling now it has boiled halfway so now it's time for you to add the plantain for the plantain some people don't remove the peel while some people do, do remove the peel i remove the peel for this one but some other times i don't always remove the peel anyone is totally fine so now this plantain and yam has cooked properly now it's time for us to start to pound So you're just going to transfer the yam first into your mini mortar you can also use a food processor but i wanted to really go the local way how they do it over there that was what i was using i'm using a mini mortar um some people always add the palm oil first add some salt before pounding the yam but this is another method you can also use like a food processor like i mentioned earlier so you're just going to pound the yam halfway then you add your plantain also like this meal is super yummy guys my husband loves it so so much then you can now add your palm oil to it and just keep pounding and pounding until the color changes and uh, you have a very smooth texture like i mentioned earlier some people add salt to it you can add salt to yours but because i felt i'm going to add some salt and um, seasoning to my sauce i didn't need to add salt to this one again or you can even add salt to the yam while boiling it you just need to keep pounding and pounding until you get a very fine consistency then you're going to set it aside and probably pack it in a nylon or something while we prepare the fresh tomato sauce for the fresh tomato sauce you need to heat up some canola oil or any type of oil you use i didn't include this oil in the ingredient list then fry the onions you're going to saute the onions for like five minutes so that the flavor can release into the oil then now it's time to fry the tomato paste i didn't add too much tomato paste to mine because i didn't want it to be too to taste too sour but for you to um if you don't want your food to be too sour just add a little sugar to your tomato sauce then add the crayfish and the seasoning that is what i have just added now i'm just going to keep stirring before i add the tomato sauce then I'm going to add the fish right away. I didn't add too much seasoning because I already seasoned the salt, the fish with some salt and pepper. So I didn't add too much seasoning. I'm just going to add the fish now and make sure that you know the sauce covers the fish very well before you cover the pot and allow this to cook for like 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you don't cook it too much so that the fish doesn't break inside the soup. And here you have it, guys. Your tomato sauce is ready. And ready to serve it's always very difficult you know 
preparing a fish sauce because sometimes the fish just scatters in the, in the pot but for you not to make it scatter too much just make sure you don't mix it too much and everything so this is what your fish sauce looks like really yummy right so here you have it guys my calabari people my ijo people this is your fresh onono sauce that can be taken by anybody in nigeria it is so yummy you need to add this to your menu guys thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed this is enough reason for you to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you watch this video till this moment please type the word onono in the comment section thank you for watching bye